Hey guys, so today I'm out here on an extinct volcano. You can't see it very well, but I'm in some of the canyons of the spring runoff. And we're going to see if there's any gold coming off this volcano. I don't think there is, but you never know till you try. So let's go ahead and scoop up some material into the bucket, bring it down to the water, and see. So this is one of the slot canyons that the water comes down in the spring. And it's actually really cool. You can kind of hike through all these twists and turns. And in the spring, there's a whole bunch of waterfalls, and that's where we're going to be going. We're going to be going to the bottom of one of the waterfalls, and hopefully there'll be some gold at the bottom. Okay, so we are actually just barely up from where we were earlier, and right here is where one of the waterfalls drops off and drops a bunch of water. And you can actually see it's kind of wet there because we got some rain earlier today. But we're going to collect some material from here, but not until the hike back down because I don't want to carry a bucket full of dirt up there. And look what we found right at the bottom of that waterfall. There's some good old rattlesnake skin. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we actually had to hike back down and up around because the waterfall that we're gonna collect stuff from ends right over there where I'm pointing. And we can't quite climb up there right now. So we're hiking up and around and we're gonna go up to some other waterfalls further up there. Okay, so for reference right down there, so where the bottom of that waterfall is, and it comes up, this slot canyon curves around and keeps on going up. Um, usually we climb up this, but I'm feeling especially out of shape today and I'm not in my stretchy hiking pants, so I can't move. We have definitely got some rattlesnake friends up here. Look at this big old snake skin. Okay, so this is the spot I was really wanting to get to. So you can see there's this big old spot where water comes down drops off there, water comes down, drops off here, and there's a whole bunch of sand and stuff in the bottom of this one, in the bottom of this one, and I'm gonna hike up right over there and see if there's any material kind of at the bottom of that slot canyon. So we're gonna go do a sample there, there, and then there. Okay, I think we're going to call it good for that spot. Okay, so we've got one more waterfall to go dig down underneath, and it's the first one we looked at. So we're going to hike down to that last waterfall, technically the first waterfall, and then we're going to go to the river and see if we found any gold. Okay, we're going to call that good because that's all I can reasonably carry out of here. Okay, so I just kind of wanted to chat about my theory of why there might be gold here. So volcanoes come up from underground, you know? And that's pretty much where all the gold came from was deep underground, usually in hydrothermal vents though. But this one is called a tough volcano. Apparently this one and the one right over there are two of the largest tough cone volcanoes in the world. So that's pretty cool, I didn't know that. Um, but the way these ones formed is about 10,000 years ago, it was a basaltic magma that came up and it came in contact with um, a shallow aquifer or the precursor to the Snake River and these ones actually cooled really quickly compared to other types of volcanoes, and so that's kind of why they have more of a glassy look to them. And there's a special kind of glass that I don't know how to pronounce, but I'll put the word right here. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my theory of why there might be gold here. Now here's why I don't think there'll be gold there. There were really no indicators of gold. There was nothing super heavy in those shovels. There was no black sands that I could see. There was nothing that seemed like it would indicate gold. Um, I've hiked that thing my whole life. My wife and I have been hiking it a lot more recently, and I don't see any indications that there's gonna be any gold there, but I always, every time I hike that in the spring and I see the waterfalls flowing, I'm like, maybe there's gold. So today is the day we find out. So let's go to the river and pan it out and see. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do our first pan. Let's go ahead. 
Okay, let's go ahead and see what we got. Okay, we might have one or two tiny specks, but it's not looking like there's much. It, this is more moving like it's just sand rather than any gold in there. But let's go ahead, finish off the bucket, and see what else we can find. Okay, let's see the final reveal. And it looks like a whole lot of nothing. I think there's one speck of gold in there, but that's probably contamination from my bucket. You can see it right there. Mm -hmm. I think that's a piece of gold, but I think that is just from the bucket from the last video. Also, if you didn't know, this is how corn dogs are grown. Next time you're in the wild, you should pick one out and take a bite. They're delicious when they're fresh. Okay, well there's your answer. Is there gold on a volcano? No, definitely not. I'm pretty sure that one speck was from my my bucket from the last video because I didn't wash it out beforehand. So definitely I don't think there's any gold on these volcanoes specifically. There could be on other ones, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, but definitely answered my question. So now every time I go hiking up there, I don't have to wonder if there's gold in there. Hope you guys liked the video. If you enjoyed it, leave it a like, share, comment, all those good things. Um, definitely give me suggestions for what you guys want to see. Um, this one was kind of a weird one. Really didn't find any gold, but that's okay. It's just an adventure and it's kind of fun. So I hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.